everyone. Hello. Today we are going to learn the preposition. Here we are going to use the preposition in and on. Let me explain it. When to use in and on. Okay. You are able to see a chair here. Ungalala or chair pakumdiya. My daughter is on the chair or in the chair. That is the confusion. Right? In the chair, la rend hands. So on the total line another. So she is in the chair. In the red hand sila sila chairs circular, on the chairs you can say she is on the chair if it is flat. Okay. She is on the chair. Have you understood? Okay, let's get into the next proposition. Okay. Now I am going to explain how to use the preposition in between. Okay. Are you able to see two chairs here? Yes. Now my daughter is in between these two chairs. Okay. One is uh, red color. Another is brown color. So you are able to focus. My daughter is in between these two chairs. Have you understood? In between are being now. Irandu chair ke idayil nadu vil avar ekra endu inbari arthadai kuri pati. Okay, you will see the next preposition. I am going to explain the third preposition that is Pinadi. So, what is the meaning of the word Pinadi? Behind. So, where is my daughter? My daughter is behind the chair. Yes, don't touch it. My daughter is behind the chair. Have you understood or not? If you want to make this Current position into a friend, Abina. Now, make another question. Please come forward. Now, you just show the position. Okay. Now, you just show the position. Now, you just show the position. Now, where is she? My daughter is in front of the chair. Okay. Have you understood or not? Everyone, we are going to learn another preposition that is next to. See, actually, now I am not with my daughter. I am far away. Yes. Where is she? You can just say, she is near the chair. Or else, you can use, she is next to the chair. You can use these two prepositions. She is near the chair or she is next to the, next to the chair. Thank you.